Hey guys, what is up? It's Ryan here. I'm back with another video. Um, today we are going to be looking at the new Android N developer preview. This is uh, developer preview 2. The reason I didn't make another I want a video on developer preview 1 was because it was a little too buggy and I just just didn't do it. I wanted to wait until they added a couple new more new features so I can explain more about it. So we're going to go ahead and explore this preview 2. So first of all, what is um, what is Android what Android Beta? So what Android Beta is is that it's a program that you can join. It's free. Hooks up your Google account to it, um, and you can enroll your device in the beta program. Um, in order to get the Android Beta, it just simply comes through an OTA update. Um, there's no worries about flashing stuff or anything. Um, only devices that are supported are Nexus 6P, 5X. Um, 2014 Nexus 6 um, and Nexus 9 and uh, player so and 4G which is Android 1 as you can see here I have my Nexus P 6P enrolled and that's what I'm going to be showing you it on today um, so if you want to enroll you instantly get an over the air update um, and you can just simply update from there if you update it won't erase any of your data or apps or anything but if you want to get back onto stock, um, stock uh, factory, factory software, no beta, you're going to have to uh, erase your device and uh, reinstall the, the current operating system. If you unenroll, it will send you an OTA um, that is actually going to wipe all your data and restore you back to Android Marshmallow or, what, Marshmallow or whatever the latest software is. So that's how the program works. And now let's go ahead and explore. Um, Android N. Okay everyone, so here is my Nexus 6P. You can see in the back, I have a skin on it by dbrand. Um, you can look it up too, it's pretty cool. This is a dbrand wooden skin. Um, I got the colored X too and the silver letters and the sides are also wood as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and unlock it. As you can see, it has a different wallpaper. That's just the beta wallpaper, but they're probably going to add more. Um, as, it, um, as uh, it improves, or the final release, they'll probably change it. Um, so first thing you notice off the bat is the folders. The folders are, I'm not, I'm not really a big fan of them. In Preview 1, they kind of changed, they were original, and then they Preview 2, they changed them to these circular. You can kind of see inside the folder. Um, it's kind of odd, but they're testing stuff and everyone wants to change it back so they'll probably they probably will change it back or change it in some sort of way that people people would like it um, second of all is uh, multitasking this is you can have split screen apps which is pretty awesome people have been waiting for this for a long time um, so how you do it if you go into Chrome or you can go into go into any application snapchat I'm just saying snapchat does not support this at the moment, they have not incorporated the um, the, so the code for it. Um, so what you want to do, open Chrome, press and hold the multitask button here, and then you can see it pops up with um, another window. You can see it has this split bar here, so you can chain, adjust the size. You can select it, and there's the Android Beta program um, window. You can close out of that, swipe that away. Um, in order to open more apps here, you can't, don't click here, you click the home button and it swipes up, it's still up there, you can see it's a little it's a little bit up there, you can, I think you can swipe it down, maybe not, um, it's up there, it wants you to open other apps, let's go ahead and open Play Store, and now it has been split screened um, with two apps, so as you can see, it's not fully working yet, you can see some things are glitched out, um, some things are cut off, um, some things may not work um, because it's a beta and people have not uh, incorporated or made their app support split screen but it works pretty well overall so let's go, try, go, in, go in the auto rotate here um, it works really well in auto rotate there we go as you can see now it's working so it works better in, port, in uh, landscape um, so you can see that you can split screen you can move it move it back and forth you can um, open up keyboard you can type in window search something you know and then you can do the same thing here too which is pretty cool um, 
you can see they changed the button logo here so it's multitasking. And if you want to close it, either if you want to make a like one of the apps full screen um, and it just crashed, that's one of the bugs of Android N. Things crash a lot. That's unfortunate. I was going to show you. Um, let's see if this works. Let's reopen another app. Let's open up um, YouTube. There we go. Okay. So, uh, what you want to do is turn it sideways. If you want to make a YouTube full screen, just take the bar here and put it all the way, and it'll put it in the full screen. And if you want to go back, just press and hold the, the multitasking button, and you can choose what app you want. Just choose Chrome or something, and you can make Chrome full screen if you want, which is pretty cool. Um, so that's that. So that is multitasking on Android N. So what's next is, um, and this is specifically new in the preview too, uh, is a clear all button. They finally added a clear all button in multitasking with apps. So it's not on the bottom here, it's kind of weird. What you have to do is swipe all the way down, all the way at the top, and just hit clear all, and it'll clear everything like that, which is pretty awesome. So um, what's always been in the Android N thing, you can directly reply to notifications. I don't really have an example, I can't really show you. Um, I'm not going to really receive any messages right now, but if like, for example, if a text message comes down, just hit reply and it'll immediately just we can reply right there and hit send, send and it'll go back up and send it. It's kind of like uh, Apple's thing where iOS, um, where you can directly reply to pull down notifications at the top. Um, that's exactly what this is. So, okay, so what's next is uh, smarter quick settings. So if you pull down a notification bar here, um, you can see that they have quick settings here, which uh, they, I think like they kind of took it from Samsung's uh, concept. Uh, you know how Samsung has those quick settings. They've always had those since the S, the Galaxy S, original Galaxy S, and the TouchWiz. Um, so Google finally incorporated that into their new Android N uh, operating system, and um, it's pretty cool. Uh, flashlight, do not disturb. Um, uh, there's a lot of other ones. Data, battery. You pull down once again, it'll give you more uh, more options here. And uh, screen brightness, obviously everyone wants that. Um, Wi-Fi, uh, data, battery, tons of stuff. Um, Bluetooth, and you can see here's Android and beta. If you click on that, it's just gonna show you the message and go to this link here. I'll put that link in the description below if you want to enroll yourself in the beta program. If you have a Nexus 5X or any other devices, um, so that's that. Let's go back in here. Um, if you, you can actually pull over here and it will give you more options here too so you can extend it. And also you can also edit your tiles. So if you hit edit, they will allow you to edit your tiles and there's extra tiles here. So we can actually put on a calculator. This is actually new, uh, I think in preview too. They allow you to put calculator and there's data saver, saves your data, uh, invert colors, it's pretty cool. Hotspot. You can put everything on here. You can reorganize them too, so you can put them anywhere you want. Which is pretty sick. Um, so yeah, that's that uh, with uh, quick settings. Um, click on calculator, see how it comes back up there. And it crashed. <laughs> it's kind of a standard thing for beta. I would expect that. Um, expect bugs, I'm just saying. Expect bugs. Um, so if you pull down here one more time, and if you go into settings, as you can see, uh, there is some pretty cool uh, things here in settings. Um, they changed a couple of things here to call recommendations or suggestions. Um, so things they want you to do or maybe things that are running, um, they tell you at the top of settings. So for example, do not disturb is on. Alarms only, do not disturb, yep, it's on. So it tells you right there. Um, suggestions, if you want to secure your phone, set it with a fingerprint on the back, uh, lock your phone with a fingerprint, or add an email account. As you can see here, I'm on my Wi-Fi, it says my Wi-Fi's name, and um, it'll tell you some other data usage if once once I'm actually in my actual mode here. I'm, not, I'm in demo right now, um, but you can see it has more information and settings before you click on them, so it says like, 36 apps installed, 80%, 86% battery, six hours left, um, a lot about that. Now if we go into about phone, 
you go under Android version, spam it, you can see here, this kind of matches the screen here, that is the Easter egg right now, Android N. We really don't know what it's called. Um, I heard that Samsung um, accidentally leaked Android, Android N's version number. They're saying it's going to be Android 7. Um, I don't really know if that's true, but it might be. So it might be Android 7, um, which would be pretty cool. Um, so if you, anyway, so if you go ahead and spam this, press and hold it, it's just going to go to the standard Android Marshmallow slash Lollipop type of a Android Flappy Bird thing with marshmallows. It's still marshmallows, which is funny, because they won't uh, give any hints of what the next treat will be um, nicknamed for Android. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, so we'll go back. So that is settings. Included in the preview too, um, there's this new graphics engine called Vulkan Graphics API. Um, that's the thing that has, uh, that's like the Galaxy S7, the Samsung Galaxy S7 was the first device to support the new Vulkan API. Um, same with Nvidia Shield tablet also got it too. Uh, it's basically a faster, more efficient graphics engine for games and everything. There's not, you won't really notice a difference, but like it makes it more efficient, it makes it more powerful, and makes it easier for developers to develop games on Android. Number another one is uh, new emojis. So you can see here that they have emojis. They kind of changed a couple of them before. Uh, they changed a little bit, um, but they've added some people. If you scroll over here. They've added some ladies. They've added some like more like real person. They're not just faces. They're like actual people explaining uh, certain feelings and stuff, so it's pretty cool. Um, those are kind of the new Android emojis that they've added in the preview too. Okay, so another thing, they kind of changed a little bit about the camera. So if you open camera really quick, um, let's do allow. You can see they kind of changed like the design of the camera a little bit here. Um, they changed the button, they changed the logo um, of the camera switch and also gallery too. Um, if you go over here, they actually, have, they actually added slow motion instead of it up here, they have it down here. So which is pretty cool, you can have slow motion. Um, you go into settings really quick. And um, resolution and stuff, you can do the same things. And that is about camera. Another thing is that if you go into settings once again, you can now have night mode. Um, I think you can already have it here. I guess, I guess you, never mind, I guess I don't have it here yet. but. Um, they have they had night boat they had night mode, and you can change the screen tone kind of like new iOS 9.3 update. Uh, you can change the screen tone of your screen so it'll help you sleep better at night to more of an orangey color. Um, that is part of the developer settings too, and also night mode and settings. And if you go into settings here, I'm gonna give you a quick example. All this is white. It's gonna change all the black with white letters. So it'll be like kind of like more of a darker type of theme to Android. It'll help you sleep better at night and uh, put less strain on your eyes. Another cool thing is the wallpaper. Um, if you hold it down and change the, if you want to change the wallpaper here, so you can see if you can switch the wallpaper. But Android stock Android's always not like always restricted setting wallpaper separately to the lock screen and home screen. Well, today they changed that um, in the preview too. You set wallpaper, you can actually identify which uh, one you want to set, either the home screen or lock screen. So let's just do lock screen today. So just set it to lock screen. Now if you lock it, you can see we have that background. If you unlock it, it changes to that one. So it's pretty cool that they've added that to um, the, new, the new beta. And that is pretty much it guys um, on the new Android uh, beta developer review 2. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'll put the, the Android Enroll program link in, in the, down in the description. Um, so hope you can check that out. Um, so yeah, hope this was helpful. If you want to know more about the program and the beta too, um, so hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And that is it. Thank you, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.